Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we also get our optional bug fix C release update rolling out for Windows 10, which Microsoft uh, pushed out on the 29th, which was yesterday in my part of the world. And the latest update uh, is optional. So the updates that rolled out near the end of the month are optional, unless you have get the latest updates as soon as they're available toggled on, which then will turn it into an automatic update. And once the update has been applied, if we just head over to our update history, um, the February update is KB5034843. Now, this update does include one new feature. And I'm just going to mention it quickly. Um, Microsoft says that using Windows Share, you can now directly share URLs to apps like WhatsApp, Gmail, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Sharing to X, formerly known as Twitter, is coming soon. So if you are using Windows Share, then that's a nice move in the right direction. Then over and above that, um, one or two fixes have rolled out very similar to Windows 11's bug fix. And two key highlights are the update affects games you install on a secondary drive. Now they remain installed on the drive, which if you are doing a lot of gaming, that's also a step forward. And then if you are using the Windows Backup app, this also rolled out for Windows 11. Um, Microsoft says the update affects the Windows Backup app. Apparently, um, it will no longer show on the user interface in regions where the app is not supported. So that's a bit of a change regarding the Windows Backup app. And then because this is a non-security update, it does include a couple of quality improvements. Now, there's only one, two, three, four, five, six that have rolled out. So not really too much going on with this latest optional bug fix update. But just to mention two that I thought you may be interested in out of the six. Um, the update addresses an issue that affects Microsoft Edge. Apparently, the user interface is wrong for Internet Options Data Settings. And it also addresses an issue that affects the Japanese Input Method Editor, IME for short. Apparently, it failed to work for custom desktops. And that's it, guys. That's more or less what's rolled out. And I know um, a lot of you are going to be asking the question, was this issue addressed for KB5034441? And the short answer is no. Microsoft has not rolled out a fix yet, which... Um, obviously, they're battling to fix that issue. They did say, as I posted earlier and previously, they are working on a fix, but none, none as yet. So if you were expecting a fix for this issue, which um, was causing the error 0x8007064 error install failure, apparently due to um, recovery partition, this was failing to install. That error and that issue has not been addressed. So... Um, unfortunately, no fix yet, and just a bit strange that Microsoft is taking a, a quite a long time to roll out a fix for that. So obviously, there are issues there. And uh, the updates, the fixes, the improvements, and so on, if you don't install them now, if you have this toggle turned off, will be rolled out um, a little bit later this month with the Patch Tuesday update rolling out on the 12th of March. So those will become mandatory updates with that update. And if you have install the update um, if we just head over to winver so we can have a look at the new build for windows 10 version 22h2 let's just type in winver that's about windows and for windows 10 version 22h2 the new os build has been bumped up to 19045.4123 so that's it not really too much happening with this update the only new feature is uh, regarding Windows Share, and you can now directly share URLs to apps like WhatsApp, Gmail, Facebook, and LinkedIn. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.